Good morning. Hello. Welcome to another video. So, it's been a very different type of Monday morning. It's <laughs> exhausting. It's actually been exhausting. I'm so tired. <sighs> Nadia is sick. And I am still going to work. But at the same time, take care of my kid too. So, this should be an eventful day. <laughs> G is off today so G was able to take Nathan to school for me which was very helpful Nadia is still sleeping and resting she woke up very early this morning so that woke me up very early this morning so right now I'm just I did something out of the ordinary, I don't usually shower in the morning, but I'll wash my face, brush my teeth, you know, get some coffee, do the cleaning routine for the morning, all the things. But this morning, girl, I had to shower so I could wake up my body. I have a light headache, probably because the lack of sleep that I've had over the whole weekend, actually, because Saturday is when Nadia got kind of like sick. And she woke up and she threw up everywhere on her bed at like 2 in the morning. So, um, she's doing better, just a slight fever, but totally coherent. She's eating, you know, just getting all the rest that she can. I'm going to make myself a coffee because, well, you know, I have to. Um, this is immune support syrup, so not necessarily like a fever reducer or pain reliever. I'm sorry you feel that way, but mm -hmm. that's how I feel about you being sick. You need to take all of that. Okay. Swallow it. And have some water. It'll help make it go down. Have some water. Yeah. Just drink it and be done, and then it'll be, the, the faster you drink it, the faster it'll be done. Mm -hmm. This is some good breakfast for you. Mm -hmm. You said thank you to G? Yeah. Okay. I'm late, <laughs> but I mean, oh well. I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm gonna go to work for a little bit well for like eight hours <laughs> but i'm saying i'm gonna probably take a break like here and there so i can check on her give her medicine take her temperature make sure she's doing okay <laughs> to like function and focus at work because obviously I want to make sure my kids okay and I'm just I don't know the weather it's gloomy and gray outside and just like cold and <laughs> I mean maybe that's kind of like aiding to like my lack of energy also the fact that I didn't sleep at all this weekend because Nadia was sick she's better now like you can tell like She's fine. She's joking around. She's being funny. You know, she's eating pretty good. She has an appetite and 
she doesn't have a fever right now so i'm gonna kind of not give her any tylenol motrin or anything like that like fever reducers just to see if she could just not have a fever on her own without the medicine but i did give her that elderberry immune support so that'll help like her immune system and then we're gonna see how she does but honestly she seems fine i didn't even put deodorant on this morning i was so rushing didn't even put on the deodorant i could have sworn that i did and then i need to take my vitamins because i was like i'm gonna take my probiotics and i'm gonna take my vitamins today i didn't do that yet so these are like all the vitamins that i have but i haven't been taking them like consistently um i need to though so this is the hum nutrition daily cleanse i've been taking this daily cleanse for oh my gosh oh years years um i do see results i do like it of course if you're consistent this is a really good one so i'll probably take this and then this is a pre and probiotic for digestion and also for just overall gut health and then this is in the mood um i think this help it's like an adaptogen it helps your body like adapt to stress i believe if i'm not mistaken it has ashwagandha in it which is um a really great superfood it definitely helps your body adapt to stress so i love that of course we have the women's multivitamin you know all the things and then this one is rebalance it's a hormone rebalancing basically this one just rebalances your hormones so that's that and then lastly of course we have the hair gummies let's balance my hormones because i feel like i'm all out of whack with that so the rebalance one it has um, reishi in it and also lavender extract so it helps like rebalance and like calm my mood if you will so that's what i'm gonna do i need that what i like about ray it has like this minty flavor to it so it's like very like refreshing after i take the um vitamins let me see you yeah you're totally fine this is good we're doing good so far no fever and no medicine so she's doing good on her own do you want to get out of your pajamas let's brush our teeth at least okay come on Nadia is doing so much better like she's totally fine like I said making funny faces just being all funny and I don't have to give her medicine I did a quick session with my therapist right now therapy has just been so helpful for me and being able to just communicate and try to find an answer for how I'm feeling and trying to find a solution to problems that I am faced with. It's so vital for me to have my therapy sessions with my therapist and being able to communicate because sometimes I have so many things going on in my head and I don't know why and I don't know where they're coming from. And that's what a therapist does for me. Like she helps me to kind of open up this box and see things inside and pulling them out and being like well i remember how this got there but we don't need that in there anymore so let's get rid of it i had such a deep conversation like when you just have like these like really successful therapy sessions where it's like that one was a good one you know like i feel really great i feel so much better i cried <laughs> i just a lot definitely was beneficial from that session hi how do you feel you brushed your teeth? Yeah. We're clean? Yeah. Okay, good. And you ate all your breakfast, huh? You did, Barely. I saw. I saw the plate was empty. G ate some of the food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, you go sit down and chill. I want you to rest still. Even though you're feeling better, we still need to rest, okay? So go sit down. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, so back to work. I am exhausted, honestly. It's only... a. 11 well 12 p.m. right now i'm just i'm done for the day girl i don't know how i'm gonna wrap it up here but <laughs> i'm just i'm done for the day i don't know so i am going to ice roll my face i love ice rolling my face and <laughs> one of you guys told me like you're because i was going like this 
previously which honestly it feels really good to do that but apparently you're supposed to just go up and out up and out which i totally get because you're like lifting your face if you will but <sighs> i just thought it was so funny i was like i'm over here rolling my face like some sourdough bread girl <laughs> one thing that i took away from therapy today is that i just need to be kinder to myself i am so hard on me like there's just <laughs> i i just look at like my kids and i look at g and i'm like i wish that i could see myself and love myself the way that they love me i just feel like that's just my biggest thing that i want to focus on is just to be kinder to myself and I can be kind and I can be great to everybody except for me. I can't be the only one who is hard on herself out there. I'm sure there's so many people who are in the same situation as me where we have so much love to give and we know exactly how to love other people, but we don't know how to love ourselves. And we're our biggest critic or we're the hardest on ourselves. We're totally unkind to ourselves. and. I want to not do that to me anymore like I want to be I want to be nicer to myself I just don't know how <sighs> she told me to just look at my kids how are those kids doing and honestly I look at my kids and they're doing so good and I did that I did that you know what I mean and I'm gonna continue to be there for my kids and I'm gonna continue to have their back and raise decent good human beings and that is a form of kind of like looking at yourself and being kinder and being able to kind of appreciate you know where i am now last week was rough because it was like my last straw if you will i was just so stressed and anxious with this job and kind of like my future of like what's going to be happening because this job has just been stressing me out giving me so much anxiety on top of everything that i'm already feeling <laughs> but last week was just something happened that was just the last straw for me and like i lost it like i was just i had a moment by myself in my room and i just had a total breakdown <laughs> like oh i screamed i cried i just however you have your breakdown that was a breakdown for me and what kind of tipped me over the edge of like the last straw or what made the sink overflow if you will with that last drop of water basically living in this apartment they're lovely apartments they're nice on the inside right and the outside is nice too um but there's a lot of theft that go on you know so this apartment has a lot of theft and break-ins as far as like cars and garages go so when we first moved into these apartments the garage would always open automatically or randomly on its own at so many different times of the day and so my biggest concern was my son's scooter that my mom bought him for christmas last year and i'm like dang I, I want to take that scooter out and put it on our patio because we live on the second floor so nobody could obviously reach up there and like steal from us. I was like I really feel like I should go and get that scooter and put it in the patio so nobody steals it because the garage opens randomly. We don't know what's open and people can go in and out and steal our stuff. Sure enough, my neighbor comes and tells us, hey, your garage was open a few weeks ago at 2 a.m. I closed it for you. Be careful because there's a lot of break-ins. My Mercedes got broken into and cleaned out. Everything was gone. My neighbor upstairs above us as well, her, her um, garage got broken into also. So it's a Friday, I'm getting off of work and G's like, hey, the scooter, did you move it? Did you take it to your mom's house? What happened to it? And I was like, no, I didn't move anything or didn't touch anything. And so, come to find out, somebody went into our garage, it opened again, mysteriously probably, and now it's missing. Somebody stole Nathan's scooter. And it was one of those electric scooters, they're very expensive. I think it was like $400 or something like that. It's very depressing, and that I lost it at that point. 
I went into the room, closed the door, locked it, and just, just freaked out, screamed, cried, basically just threw a big old tantrum <laughs> and just lost it. I had, a, I had a total breakdown. And it was just so many things that were going on and that was the last thing for me. And I blamed myself because I freaking knew that I should have went and grabbed it. There's nothing worse than knowing you should have done something that was preventative and then not doing it and then things go wrong. That is the worst friggin' feeling. And I just, on top of me already being hard on myself, <laughs> you could already imagine what type of emotions I was feeling when I found out that the scooter was missing, knowing that I should have moved it in the first place. That's my current situation. We'll probably be moving from this place eventually once our lease is up, just because it's a lovely home, but there's just some undesirable factors of it safety is so big for me if i'm not in a safe environment or i don't feel comfortable or safe for me and my kids i'm not living here before I picked up the camera and the energy level just went down after filming lunch. Your sister has her little paper under there. I know, but I need you to, um, you know, figure something out because I need it. So I don't know, maybe try to move this. Nadia's paper yeah. fell under here. She uses it for studying in school. So oh Nadia, God. you go try to get it. He's moving it for you. God, what happened? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what happened? Okay, so first of all, what happened? It's all your stuff. Nadia, move all your stuff right now, and then Nathan's going to vacuum here. So I took the rest of the day off work, and me and G are going to go just get out for a second. The weather's like super gloomy, but it's nice at the same time. I need fresh air. I'm going to move my body. My mind is just just not in it like it's just not in it girl and I'm feeling overwhelmed and stressed and for the last week I've been like having like these like cramps but they don't feel like period cramps and it's just messing with my whole vibe I just am feeling just very like fatigued and I get headaches and I don't know why because I drink water and I'm eating like normal I don't know I'm just my body is just <laughs> I feel like my body's getting just overworked and my mind is getting drained and I took this day I was like hey guys I'm out I don't feel good and I kind of just like left work as it is I'll touch bases with you guys later and let you kind of know what went on with that but right now I just need to get out of the house and get some fresh air and move my body you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what Okay, so I look crazy <laughs> first and foremost let's say start there I'm about to start cooking dinner first things first I need to clean all of these dishes so I can cook in a clean space dinner is gonna be super easy tonight 
as usual. It's a weekday, so you know that means easy dinner. It's not that long Since I met you for the first time Should work it out, you know we should work it out Before I'm too invested I should probably ask ya Ask you all my questions so we're gonna be making some pasta for dinner. Always pasta at least once a week on the menu. And this is gonna be so easy. This is all that you need. Arugula, some butternut squash already chopped up, penne, and some sausage. We'll just have some Beyond Sausage here. And then also your favorite tomato sauce. And also vegan. I didn't even realize this is a vegan dinner. Awesome. Extra virgin olive oil going in the pan. So I have the sausage here. I just chopped it up and we're going to add that and then cook that through. And then we're going to take the butternut squash. If you're able to get pre-cut vegetables, it saves so much time, especially during busy weekday. Can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? So we're gonna take some of this pasta water, about one and a half cups, and fill it in there. So it could like cover and cook down the butternut squash. So we're gonna let that cook and simmer for about 10 minutes, I think. We'll check on it. Don't let me go when I come real close. I don't want to get hurt. 